Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today I'm going to be sharing you guys what I picked up from the Sephora. From Sephora. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from the Sephora sale and put everything on my face and do a first impressions with you guys. So if you want to see how I ended up with this look and what I got, then keep watching. Before we start, if you guys aren't already subscribed, I'd love to have you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at any point, but let's get into it. All right, guys, let's hop right in to the products I picked up. Didn't really go too crazy, just a couple things I've had my eye on. First is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade Fair, I believe. I've seen so many people use this and I wasn't really sure what it was for the longest time. But essentially, it's just like something you use under makeup to add a glow to your face, which I really enjoy products like that. Packaging is very luxurious, very Charlotte. I was kind of debating what shade to get, but I think this one will work really nicely. I didn't want something that was going to be darker. I'm just going to start this like, I don't know on the highlight points of my face and see what happens. I'm just gonna use a sponge to blend this out. Oh, that does look really pretty. When I swatched it on my hand, it's definitely not a super glittery highlight, which for something that you put all over your face, it really shouldn't be anyway. It has a little bit of coverage too, that's pretty. I just wanna put more on. So I really like how this looks so far. I think it has a tiny bit of coverage, which would be perfect since I got a tinted moisturizer to try out. It looks really glowy without, it definitely doesn't accentuate my texture. I was a little worried about that too, but so far. Moving on to the base product I picked up. It's the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I have really liked Tarte base products in the past. So I wanted to try this out. It's their new tinted moisturizer. I do like a good amount of coverage. You guys know that. But I was really interested in trying this because I don't have a ton of tinted moisturizers. I really just have BB cream, CC creams, and then a lot of foundations. So I got the shade Fair Light Neutral in this. I'm going to dot this on my face. It feels really like bouncy, if that makes sense. I'm going to use my sponge for this as well. It doesn't have any scent, honestly, at all that I noticed, which is really nice. It went on really nicely. It blended in super quick. I really like the finish of it. I was scared it would be too glowy. But even with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, it is just like a natural finish on me. It's not crazy oily looking. I'm going to add just a second layer to see if we can build up the coverage. And I am using a sponge with this, which of course is going to give you less coverage than if you were to use a brush or even your fingers. And my yogurt here, vegan of course. All right, so I think the coverage did build up a little bit. Not a ton though. I think it looks really pretty. It's honestly like enough coverage for me. If I did spot concealing as well, I'm using the Elia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is not something new to me. It's just one of my go-tos. I like how everything feels super light on my skin so far too. Nothing is feeling very greasy or oily. I also have a Thai iced tea here. If you guys have tried this, isn't it amazing? It's really good with coconut milk. And I'm just blending in my concealer with the sponge I've been using. I have a new brow product here to use. I'm really excited. It's the Milk Push Eyebrow Pen, I think it's called. Set my face. I'm going in with the Elia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Probably going to do just a light layer all over my face and under the eyes, of course. I was going to pick up a new one of these in the sale, but I think either it was sold out or I just forgot. I think it might have been sold out, honestly. Bronzer, I want to use the Kosas Sun Show in Light. I've just been really enjoying this so far. I think it's really pretty, the fact that it's so glowy. I just really like the finish it adds to the face while also adding warmth. Just a very like spring vibe bronzer. Very buildable too, like it's super light at first, but as you can tell, you can kind of build up the color. You guys did shop the sale yet. I would love to hear what you got. I might order some new things before it ends. But yeah, let me know what you got or anything you have your eye on or recommend. I'd love to hear. Your recommendation. See, doesn't that look just like so pretty? That's just the bronzer. Kind of crazy. Blush, I'm going to use my PYT. It's the Heartbeat Cheat Color and Hustle. I love the shade of this. Really pretty. They are actually sold on Ulta now too, which is cool. I believe these are only like 20 bucks. Really great if you like a powder blush. For highlight, I'm also going to use a PYT. It's their upgrade highlighter in Backstage Pass, which is the Light Champagne. So my Eco Tools fan brush. It's also a nice highlighter if you guys like powder highlighters. Is it me or I feel like there's literally like barely any clean powdered highlights? 
They're just all cream. Definitely really liking how the skin looks. I feel like all those base products really worked well together. Let's get into this brow product because I'm really excited about it. I saw this and I was so curious. There wasn't any reviews yet, but took a plunge. It's the Kush Triple Brow Pen from Milk Makeup. I've been wanting sort of like a micro blade type of pen for a while. I definitely wanted just like a single one, but this has like a try tip on it, if you guys can see that. So it gives you like hair strokes. This is the shade MJ, which is called Cool Blonde. It doesn't really look that cool tone to me. Like it doesn't really seem like they have a taupe shade. If this is the Cool Blonde, they don't have a taupey option. So if you like a really cool tone brow, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe like the medium brown is cooler toned. Not entirely sure how to use this, but I guess I'll just start the arch of my brow. And then for the front, I'm gonna turn it this way to get those hair strokes. Definitely warm toned. Like how is this a cool blonde? All right, so I really like how it applied. I think it was easy to use. I do feel like because divots in the actual like product itself are so close together, you don't really get like a super hair-like look. I don't know, on my brows, I feel like it just went on like a regular marker. And the shade is, I'm very disappointed because this is the shade MJ, which is called the Cool Blonde shade. Definitely pulling like warm on me. And then they had a warm blonde, an auburn, natural medium brown, dark brown, deep brown, warm black, and cool black. So I really like the application, but the shade is pulling very warm on me. So they don't actually have a taupey shade. So if you're blonde and you like a cooler toned brow, not sure you'll be able to find a shade. I'm gonna try to put on this e.l.f. This is the wow brow in the taupe shade because this is very cool tone. So maybe it'll help the tone a bit. I think we could work with this. They're really not that warm tone. I feel like off camera they look a little less warm tone than they do right now. I do wish they had like maybe another just cooler tone shade. I could probably make this work. I'll have to play around with it a little bit more, but let's go on to eyes. I'm so excited. I got the new Rowan Beauty 1111 eyeshadow palette. You guys know I do have the Cool 52 palette. If you guys never had a Rowan palette, they do come in these little nice protective cases. And then here's what the packaging looks like, so pretty. And then here are the shades. I was so excited to see this. It's like these cooler, they're not necessarily all cool tone. They're just really pretty, just scream spring shades to me. We'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys. And if you guys aren't familiar with Rowan shades, some of them are a little bit different texture than others, depending on how much of the reflect they have in them. And they're also, they can seem very dry at first. You really like warm them up and press down. They do come with like a pamphlet when you get them telling you how to use them. You really have to warm them up and like you could push pretty hard on these. They are a cream formula to get the pigment out of them. They're a really unique formula so you can't really use them like a just traditional eyeshadow formula. But let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. This first shade right here, the light pink, has the chunkiest finish out of all of them. Should I say the most textured finish? So there's that shade, so pretty. This is like this really cool grayish purpley tone. This one is super smooth, it almost, it just has shimmer in it. It doesn't really have the amount of texture that that lighter shade has. And then moving down to this purple, similar finish to the blue shade. It's just a lot of pigment and a little bit of shimmer. And then the last shade down here, I think I'm definitely gonna use this one today. Same, so you get three of these like shimmer shades and then you get like almost like a topper shade that has more texture to it. Before we start using those, I am going to bring in the PYT Warm Day to Night palette. I'm gonna start with this as a transition shade. I really love this palette if you guys just want something for every day. You also get some really pretty metallics. Next, I'm gonna take this shade, which is pretty much like a burgundy pinkish shade. And I'm just gonna use a little card here with an angled brush. This is like the trick I used in the fox eye video just to get a cool shape going. I'm just gonna repeat that on this eye. Now I'm going to dip into this last shade I swatched, which is this really pretty coralish shade. And these are definitely best applied with your fingers. I'm just gonna start applying this on my lid. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Now I'm taking the lightest pink shade, which is the chunkiest. I'm gonna apply this on the center of the lid. So since that shade has a really just more textured finish, you really have to work it into the eyelid and you can get a little bit of flaking with those. 
So again, it is just that one shade that has that formula. The rest of them definitely apply differently. And we're gonna take this like bluish color and almost use it like a liner with a little liner brush. All right, it's a little messy at the moment, but I'm gonna take a matte black. This is just the Persona Identity Palette. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a smoky liner on top of that just for more depth. I feel like it's very one tone right now. All right, I think that's all we're gonna do for the eye. I used almost every single shade besides that more purple tone. I'm definitely gonna throw on some lashes. I'm gonna use the Jasmine Brown. These are called the Curly Queen Lash. Lashes are on, and my last product from the haul is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream. I do already have one of these and really love the formula. So I wanted to pick up another one. I got the shade She's Unapologetic. I think the other one I have is called She's Independent. It's more of like the beigey one, but this is the lightest pink shade which should go good with our look today. These, I feel like you don't even need a lip liner. They're similar to the Honest Beauty liquid lips. They just have like that perfect, it's not a super matte liquid lip, but it does have good staying power. All right, that's very light. I think it's a little too light almost. I'm gonna switch and put on my other shade, which is She's Independent. And then I'm gonna try this one just on the center of my lips. So there's her lip. I definitely think it looks better just on the center of the lips. I feel like the swatches online definitely don't show how light this is. I mean, I am very fair and this was very light on me. So if you're looking for like a good, more neutral, She's Independent is definitely the way to go. If you have deeper skin, they do have, I think maybe one or two other shades. But yeah, if you see this, it's very light. If you want something that light, you like light shades or, oh my God. If you want something on the center of the lips, I think it's really pretty, but I wasn't expecting it to be that light. All right guys, here is our finished look using my Sephora haul. We definitely had both hits and misses. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be returning anything. I'll have to play around with this stuff a little bit more, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also for our likes, let's try to get this video to 300 likes. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. But thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.